Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right in and see what I'm talking about this week. Welcome back to my channel and I just want to thank everybody for stopping by. If you like my content, hit the like button, subscribe button, tell your friends, family to come hit the button and I drop videos every Saturday. If you wonder why it look like I'm rocking back and forth, I'm actually on my stationary bike this morning. It is the 18th of February and it is 4.32 in the morning. I always get up early and do my exercising before I go to work. But this week we are on what they call a mid winter break from school. So I'm still up early getting it in because actually today I'm taking my son on a couple college visits, one today, one tomorrow. So I'm up getting it in, cause you know when you go on those college visits, you do a lot of walking, right? So just wanna make sure my legs are well worked out before we go to walk around the campuses. I just wanna thank everybody again that came by, gave me suggestions on my previous video and I did start utilizing some of these suggestions and going back to eating lighter like how I was in the spring and the summer and the scale did go down a little bit. I did lose some ounces. So I'm down into 197. If you haven't looked at my previous video, I was saying how the scale wasn't moving at all and it was staying in the 198 area. But now, since I did change my ways a little bit this past week, it's down into 197. So thank you again. I'm starting to utilize some of the things that I was given. And like I said, I do appreciate all of the responses, all of the suggestions, all the recommendations. I did do a little bit of research. Not gonna get into it fully. I'm going to provide the links to the websites that I was looking at, but I wanted to know since I was having issues with the scale going down, getting a little frustrated about it. I wanted to know if it's harder to lose weight in the winter time, as opposed to spring and summer when it's warmer. And one of the websites was saying that with the winter time, we're not drinking as much water as we would in the summertime so our bodies are becoming dehydrated and dehydration can lead to us not shedding the pounds like we would over the summer because over the summer we're sweating we're intaking a lot more water a lot more drinks that have electrolytes in them to keep our bodies hydrated, to keep our muscles hydrated. But in the wintertime, we're not doing that. So on this website, it was saying that we should consume cold water. Cold water activates our metabolism. And it was saying, if you drink cold water, 
the water it's colder than your actual body temperature then your body is fighting just speeding up your metabolism and helping you to lose weight i'm going to provide the link to that website because i thought the information was pretty interesting so it was saying that we can lose weight in the winter time we just have to go about it a different kind of way because i was talking about how we dress in layers the layers make it hard for you to move so you got to work a little bit harder to move you're working out your body helps you to shed a few pounds walking on the snow talking about how it's cold outside walking on the snow it's a little bit harder to walk on the snow so you're burning more calories so it's saying that it can be done you can lose weight in the winter time but you have to be strategic about it and you can lose the weight so i'm going to provide that website because i thought that was pretty interesting how it was saying which i didn't know about drinking the cold water that's below your body temperature and it also talked about shivering if you shiver in the cold being cold shivering for about 10 to 15 minutes that it burns a lot of calories than doing actual exercise i thought that was interesting so once again like i said i'm gonna provide that website the link it'll be in the description of this video so you can see for yourself and you know read the information because i thought it was very interesting and i do want to let you guys know that i am incorporating the 30 day ab challenge along with my biking i have it up here on the calendar and everything has been going pretty good so far if you see that you have your sit-ups crunches leg raises and planks and you have different amounts that you do each day with every fourth day being your rest so I've been working on that and changing my way of eating. So that is what is helping me to have the scale go down a little bit. And someone told me, you know, don't be a slave to the scale. I'm not being a slave to the scale. It's just, I weigh myself once a week, every Sunday. And when you see the scale that once a week, not going down, you know, it gets a little discouraging, but when I weighed myself this past Sunday, like I said, it went down. It was like 197.6. So it did go down a little bit. Happy to see that. Like I said, my birthday was this past week. My son's birthday was this past week. So someone had also given a suggestion of like, eating a little bit more calories and then going back to eating lighter. So I think this week actually helped with that because I did have a cookie from Crumble. I cut off a little piece of that, ate that for my birthday, and then got the free nothing bunt cake and I ate just a little bit of that. So I didn't eat like a whole lot. I took my time and ate it throughout the week. And I think that is what helped to kind of jumpstart my metabolism up again and take it down to the 197.6. But I am finished for today. I appreciate you guys watching. And I'm going to say peace and blessings to you all. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And you will see me next Saturday.